into the singularity, please. These are these are not colonists. Go away. I think that is a colonist, though, trying to hit me. Yes, that was purposeful, by the way. I wanted to show just how stupid... Nope, nope, nope. That was not purposeful, though. That is me forgetting how to drive this bloody thing. Would you... Okay, let's just, uh... Calmly throw a gas grenade. That was not a gas grenade. Nobody saw that. There we go. See, see, nobody saw it. Those two, that's fine. Um, you know, acceptable losses. There, there you go. They, they were acceptable losses. Forgot to equip it. <laughs> well, that's fine. That's that's fine. Doing it live. Okay, I gotta get over here. Shit. Take him down. Incoming! Go to sleep. Party AI is smart enough to not... Okay, so lift them. Knock them out. Okay. Lift works because lift does not hurt. Okay, I think I knocked a few more out. Yep, good, good. Apparently the grenades do explode, these people. Alright. Really, they make some noises too. There's a crane, Commander. Can you right, make sense dude, of the control? I'm just gonna walk up and hit you. Hey. Hey. How could you tell it wasn't the right grenade? Cartwheels of flames. Yes. Yes, Nate. That is the correct... Oh, I boy. I tried to fight it, but it gets in your head. You can't imagine the pain. I was supposed to be their leader. These people trusted me. Just knock it wants me to stop you, but I won't. Don't do it, I bro. won't! You know, I had like five more of the gas grenades. I, I just... I, I could have gas grenaded you, dude. Okay, then. That's the thing. I didn't do that one. That one was not my fault. Nope. His death doesn't count. No, no. The only deaths that... Uh, totally didn't count because there was only 14. Wasn't 16. Nope, wasn't 16 colonists. Nope, nope, only 14 colonists. Everyone remember that. 28 Paragon 4 Renegade. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I got some Renegade points because of that shit. Oh, that was good. Okay. Oh, God. What do I want to do with these two points? Oh, I want to max out throw at this point, maybe. I mean, 
Maxing out throw, recharge time accuracy. Yeah, we're maxing out throw. That way I can knock the shit out of people. Now, if I remember correctly, the Thorian fight is really, really annoying. I vaguely remember it being a really, really annoying boss fight. Because there's All right, cars. we just need to find this creature and determine what it... What it... <laughs> Kila, what is that? That does not look like any plant I've ever seen. This may be... Problematic. I remember pods and spawning clones. That's all I remember. Pods and clones. Pods and. Oh, that's right. It's gooey. It's real gooey. No problem, Wes. I'm probably going to be stopping soonish, so you, you were here for a good chunk. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, God. That's right, gooey. Invaders, your every step is a transgression. A thousand feelers appraise you as meat, good only to dig or decompose. I speak for the old growth as I did for Saren. You are within and before the Thorian. It commands that you be in awe. You gave something to Saren, something I need. Saren sought knowledge of those who are gone. The old growth listened to flesh for the first time in the long cycle. Trades were made. Then cold ones began killing the flesh that would tend the next cycle. Flesh fairly given. The old growth sees the air you push as lies. It will listen no more. I won't let you keep your thralls. Release them. Now. No more will the Thorian listen to those that scurry. Your lives are short, but have gone on too long. Your blood will feed the ground in a new no. growth. Bye! Okay, now I gotta remember what I'm doing here. Alright, so I need to find- Ah oh, yeah! I mean, that's, that's fine. See, now this, this I'm aptly suited for. I'm surprisingly suited for this.
plane. Yes, I'm working on it, Sim. Stop that. No. No! Eh. Override, please. Yes, I will take all of that plus the medical gel. Yeah, I think I'm just supposed to... Yeah, there's another one right here. Yeah, I mean, it's just an annoying, slow fight. A lot of, lot of killing generic not husks. In fact, let me go ahead and spend my skill points. Lift, warp. Let me put that right there. Another one down. I think the Asari is going to be up here. So, because the Asari is usually around the corner. Yep, there's the Asari. No problem, Death. Thanks for stopping by. Where are you? God, this is such a long fight. Such a long fight. I'm gonna climb up here. And shit's gonna wake up. What is Garrus? Garrus, why are you using a pistol? Here, you want to play with throw? We'll play with throw. I win that match. Dumbass. Fucking sorry. There's so many of them. And they just never stop coming. Oh, they don't stop coming and they don't stop coming. Hearing the voices in the head and they run. This frickin' code is really annoying. This computer in the face again. I don't know where I was going with this, but I'm going with this old thing. Got the story. Giant plant. Hey now, your authority. Have a singularity. Go high. It's physics. I should thank you for releasing me. Is everything all right? Are you hurt? I am fine, or I will be, in time. My name is Shiala. I serve, I, I served Matriarch Benezia. When she allied herself with Saren, so did I. Benezia foresaw the influence Saren would have. She joined him to guide him down a gentler path. But Saren is compelling. Benezia lost her way. Are you saying Saren can control minds? We already know that! Benezia underestimated Saren, as I did. We came to believe in his cause and his goals. The strength of his influence is troubling. She tried to manipulate Saren, but in the end, her plan backfired. Asari matriarchs are among the most intelligent and powerful beings in the galaxy. How could one fall under Saren's control? Saren has a vessel, an enormous warship unlike anything I've ever seen. He calls it Sovereign. It can dominate the minds of his followers. They become indoctrinated to Saren's will. The process is subtle. It can take days, weeks, but in the end, it is absolute. I was a willing slave when Saren brought me to this world. 
He needed my biotics to communicate with the Thorian to learn its secrets. Saren offered me in trade. I was sacrificed to secure an alliance between Saren and the Thorian. Saren's pretty quick to betray his own people. He was quick to betray the Thorian, too. After he had what he wanted, he ordered the Geth to destroy all evidence of his existence. Saren knows you are searching for the Conduit. He knows you are following his steps. He attacked the Thorian so you could not gain the Cypher. What's the Cypher? And why did Saren need it? The beacon on Eden Prime gave you visions. But the visions are unclear, confusing. They were meant for a Prothean mind. To truly comprehend them, you must think like a Prothean. He must understand their culture, their history, their very existence. The Thorian was here long before the Protheans built this city. It watched and studied them. When they died, it consumed them. They became a part of it. So the Thorian taught Saren to think like a Prothean. How? The Cypher is the very essence of being a Prothean. It cannot be described or explained. It would be like describing color to a creature without eyes. To understand, you must have access to endemic ancestral memory. A viewpoint spanning thousands of Prothean generations. I sensed this ancestral memory, the Cypher, when I melded with the Thorian. Our identities merged, our minds intertwined. Such knowledge cannot be taught, it simply exists. I need that knowledge to stop Saren. There is a way. I can transfer the knowledge from my mind to yours, as I did with Saren. Try to relax, Commander. Slow, deep breaths. Let go of your physical shell. Reach out to grasp the threads that bind us, one to another. Every action sends ripples across the galaxy. Every idea must touch another mind to live. Each emotion must mark another's spirit. We are all connected. Every living being united in a single glorious existence. Open yourself to the universe, Commander. Embrace eternity. They look real stoned. I have given you the cipher, just as it was given to Saren. The ancestral memories of the Protheans are a part of you now. What was that? Commander Shepard, are you alright? I saw... something. It still didn't make any sense. You have been given a great gift. The experience of an entire people. It will take time for your mind to process this information. We should get you back to the ship, Commander. Medical needs to know about this. I'm sorry if you have suffered, but there was no other way. You needed the Cypher. In time, it will help you understand the vision from the Beacon. Alright, so we're gonna ask her some questions just to get the lore? Do you know what the Conduit is? Or where it is? No, I'm sorry. All I know is that Saren believes the Conduit was the key to the Procyon extinction. Then whatever it is, we cannot let him have it. You have the Cypher. In time, your visions will clear. They will lead you to the Conduit. I only pray you find it before Saren does. Is there anything else you can tell me about the Thorian? When the creature enveloped me, I became part of it. But I still don't truly understand it. So alien, so ancient. Its exact age is impossible to know. It measured time differently. 10,000 years of hibernation broken by a few frantic centuries of activity. Its mind was awesome, magnificent. It transcended all classification. And now it is gone. Don't tell me you feel sorry for that thing. The Thorin was a unique life form, a sentient being that lived for 50,000 years, maybe more. There is nothing even remotely like it in the known galaxy. I am grateful you saved me from a life of thraldom. 
Yet I cannot help but feel some sorrow for the loss of such a rare and remarkable creature. Now that you're free of the Thorian, what are you planning to do next? If you allow it, I would like to stay here with the colonists. They have suffered greatly, and I've played a role in their suffering. I would like to make amends. The colonists will need all the help they can get. They'll be happy to have you on their side. Thank you, Commander. May fortune smile upon you. There we go. We know the rest of it, so... You did it. With the Thorian gone, we can start rebuilding for ourselves again. And we're free of Exogeny's threats. We're back to being just a little nowhere colony. Thank you, Commander. Ooh, they're not mad at me for the, you know, not people that I killed. I fought so hard, but any thought of my own caused so much pain. Yeah, you know, I totally didn't kill people. Nope, that didn't happen. There we go, get some more singularity. We're just, we're just gonna leave now. <laughs> Wait, why am I going this way? Oh, hello. Gavin's over there. What does Gavin want? What does Gavin want? I already talked to Gavin. Gavin, Gavin. Oh, thanks again. That data will be very valuable. Alright. So we're gonna head back out over here to our good friend, the Normandy. Get on there, do the debrief. I've got technically three. Actually, I think I can go trigger Conrad's last part, because there's three steps to Werner. And I think I can trigger the last step for Werner. I think. And I've still got some time, so I'm going to see about doing that. And then going from there. Alright. Because if I can get Conrad done, then all I'll have left is I'll have Tali's companion quest, which is the really long, annoying one. And then I will have the Matriarch Writings, which is another kind of annoying one involving collections. But that'll be all I have left for side missions. And I'm pretty sure I can do both of those within an hour next week. And then I can just kind of uh, clear the game. <laughs> Stand by shore party. Decontamination in progress. So, yeah, let's just get through. Commander, you look pale. Are you suffering any ill effects from the cipher? I look high as shit. The cipher shook me up a bit. I might be able to help you. I am an expert on the Protheans. If I join my consciousness to yours, maybe we can make some sense of it. So, uh, Sen, I'm going to do the Matriarch Writings and the Geth Incursion to get Tali's data, and then I'm just going to finish ME1 and move on to ME2, basically. That's my plan. Do it. Hurry. We don't have much time. Embrace eternity. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity. I swear, they're really, they're really proud of this fucked up imagery, and they show it so often in the game. Like, there's no reason for me to sit through this again. Incredible. All this time, all my research, yet I I never dreamed. Yeah, I'm no, sorry. that's my plan, Nate. The images I'm gonna go were so hit vivid. up Conrad, make I sure never that's imagined the, third the experience would be so And then intense. probably save right there. You are remarkable. Probably do strong will, at Commander. The end too. Yeah. What you have been through, what you have seen, would have destroyed a lesser mind. Did you see anything? The beacon on Eden Prime must have been badly damaged. Large parts of the vision are are missing. The data transferred into the commander's mind is incomplete. You must have seen something. I was able to interpret the data relayed through your vision. What was there, at least. But something was missing. Saren must have the missing information. Maybe he found another beacon. If we can find the missing data from your vision, I can... I can... Oh. I am sorry. The joining is exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. Dr. Chakwash should take a look at you. That will not be necessary. I just need some rest. 
somewhere quiet. We're done here. Dismissed. Uh, yes, I've played XCOM 2. I've sent off the Pharos report, Commander. You want me to patch it through to the Council? And a uh, fun fact, Sen, with me and uh, games like XCOM, my, uh, my luck with RNG is terrible. I am one of those people who will have a 99% chance to hit at point-blank range, and I will miss. Repeatedly. You should have watched me when we when we were playing, uh... We played, uh, OVA last night, and, uh... <laughs> it was a tabletop RPG, we did a one-shot with Virus. And, uh... <laughs> I'm sitting there with, like, these huge dice pools that I'm rolling, and I am just repeatedly whiffing, and just, oh god, my, my luck is terrible. Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Commander. Exogeny should have told us about the Thorian. It would have made your job much easier. You might have been able to capture it for study instead of destroying it. The Thorian liked to enslave minds. Anyone who studied it would have ended up as one of its thralls. Perhaps it's for the best, then. At least the colony was saved. Of course it was saved. Shepard would go to any lengths to help a human colony. Being human had nothing to do with it. They were in trouble. Admirable. But sometimes Spectres have to make sacrifices. I hope you're willing to do that when the time comes. Goodbye, Commander. We will be waiting for your next report. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ, lady. Friggin' people. Yeah. So we're going... I'm not gonna talk to the squad yet. I'm gonna take care of Conrad and doing some vendoring at the end of this. Uh, and then at the start of the next one, we'll be doing the squad talk. Let's see. We. Yeah. And yeah, I, I've, I've heard that, John, that everybody with XCOM has terrible luck, but I mean. I. I me and RNG based mechanics tend to be real bad. Just ancient. Obviously, you know, it's, what is it, confirmation bias and everything, all that, you know, causation, you know, correlation, yada, 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 all that crap, all that crap. Oh yeah, so sorry about that. Uh, apparently the, uh, the the little bot account had DM'd me after I banned him from here, and I just caught it, trying to trying to get me to buy them followers. Buy them followers, people. Yeah, so all that's left is going to be Vermeer. Uh, none of that gibberish that I care about because I don't. All right, we're gonna take Garrus, Tolly. And again, uh, I want to thank Equalizing everybody for hanging out. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. I've been enjoying myself. Logged. The commanding you don't want to officer miss, uh, is ashore. Streams, Exo Presley has the deck. Uh, I stream on Sundays at three o'clock Eastern, going till about now. Actually, usually about three, four, hours, four, four-ish hours. Um, make sure you hit the follow button here on Twitch if you don't want to miss these streams. There you go. Hit the button and go, yay! You seem to be attracting unwanted attention, Tally. Several passerbys were staring at you. Many think less of Quarians for traveling in the flotilla and for creating the Geth. They see us as scavengers, little better than thieves. It is natural for people to dislike rootless wanderers. If Quarians would just settle another homeworld, it would not run into such concerns. Oh, Garrus. It's always fascinating to see their relationship change as the game progresses. 
yeah, make sure you follow. Follow me on social media, twitter.com slash terminally nerdy, youtube.com slash terminally nerdy. Basically, if you Google terminally nerdy, you'll find me. I don't really hide. Okay. Med clinic. Open. Yeah, we're definitely going to go check for Conrad, though. Yes, Commander. Is there something I can do for you? Let me take a look at what you have for sale. Of course. Okay. So, sell. I want to keep my high explosives. That's high explosive five. I can get rid of that. And slowly work my way through all the crap. All the crap. I don't even know what I'm going to do with this. Like, look how much money I have. Look at this. What is the point? What is the bloody point? I can buy and sell the Citadel at this point. I'm just gonna walk. But like seriously. I have so much freaking cash. It's like just go around the consort. <laughs> I could. I could afford the I could I could. I could easily afford the consort. Not gonna do it, but I could. Alright, Conrad. Let's see if you're there. You should be. Yep, there he is. There's our boy. This should be the last one. Where I convince him to go home to his wife. Uh, Commander, I've been waiting for you to get back. I've got an idea, and I wanted to run it by you. I got a lot going on right now, but I can spare a moment. Great! This will just take a minute. With so many human colonies being attacked, I'm not sure that one Spectre is enough. What if you signed me on as another Spectre? Conrad, I don't think that's a good idea. But I'd make a great Spectre. I'd be right there with you, showing the Council what humanity is capable of. I know you're afraid to trust people after losing your team at Akuz, but I'd never let you down. Let's talk about trust. What about your wife, Conrad? She trusts you, too. Aren't you letting her down? What? I, I don't understand. You know what keeps me going out here? Knowing that people back home are keeping humanity strong. You... You're right. I just got so caught up in all of it. I wanted to help. I'll go home. Thanks for setting me straight. And apparently, the other option is to show him my gun and threaten him. And in doing so, that would trigger the Intimidate flag. Unfortunately, or fortunately, let me make sure he's showing him. There it is! The fan has been completed. All right. Excellent. All that's left now, really, are the Asari Matriarch writings. Uh, getting Tali, uh, her geth information, and then the rest of the game. Vermeer and what comes after it. Uh, Vermeer is, I believe, step five out of eight, and then there's Vermeer and a couple more, and then I'll be ready to go to Mass Effect 2, my favorite. Granted, I don't know if Mass Effect 3 will become a favorite, because I've only played it once, uh, and I haven't touched it since. So, as always, thank you all so very much for watching, and I will hopefully see you all next week, 3 p.m. Eastern. Take care, everybody, and stay nerdy.